Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing our favorites video. It's been a while since I've participated in the monthly favorites collab. I really do miss Just it. Just want to do a shout out to Jessica Myros, our host. She is the host of this collaboration. Thank you, thank you again for inviting me. I love watching monthly favorites because I get to see everyone's favorites, like different people with different interests. And yeah, we just learn so much from each other. So if you wanna know what my favorites are this month, then keep on watching. Let's do a lifestyle favorites. First up is this shirt right here. One of my faves. This totally screams spring, right? The design, the colors. I mean, this is it. I love this pop of yellow on one side. It's a button down shirt. I love wearing this. You can wear this with like shorts, like white shorts. You can wear this with jeans. Um, however way you like it. This is from Cole Sky. So hopefully they are still there. Okay, this is a brand. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank, but this is the brand. It's got pockets, guys, in the front. So very cute, like super cute button down shirt. I would say this is a little loose on me. I would probably size down, but if you like it like that loose kind of style, then definitely get the size that you normally wear. Next favorites is a frying pan. <laughs> I decided to splurge on a frying pan set. This is the small, it comes with a medium and a large size. And this one is by Henkel's and I bought this at Costco. This is um, made in Italy, totally non-stick pan. It's super heavy, super sturdy. I love the non-stick feature. I love the handles and this is what stood out for me because most kind of metal handles like this, the heat travels into the handle and then you get burned, right? This one doesn't. So it pretty much just stays on the pan and you can hold this with your bare hand. So I really, really love this. I love the depth, like it's not super flat. If you can get this on sale at Costco, definitely try to get yourself a set. It's life changing in my opinion. Okay. Next item are the Merit Beauty lipsticks. Okay, what I love about these is that they're an amazing lip stain. So um, this is the Signature Lip Liquid Lipstick. I have the color Aperitif and Tiger. I've shown them to you many, many times, especially with my Merit collab video. So I'll make sure to link them down here or over here. They're really very popular now. They are the number one go-to for the minimalist look. So if you wanna apply a touch of makeup, just a touch of glam, basically just enhancing your own natural features, definitely try Merit Beauty. This is not just a lipstick but a lip stain. What sets this apart from all the other bullet lipsticks is that it is a lip stain and it's long wearing. I'm just gonna put a little pop here. So this one is in the color Aperitif. So I think this was their uh, winter collection. Not gonna be like super pigmented and super opaque. It's more like a, sh a wash of color, but then it stays on forever. See like this one, I had to swipe it a couple times before the color reaches like the truest opacity for it. I feel like after a minute, it just stays put. It is very, very long wearing. So yes, definitely try Merit lipsticks. The other thing that I've been loving is the Beauty Vault Mascara. Guys, I got this in my Ipsy, I believe. Yeah, my Ipsy box. Um, it's very lengthening. It's very volumizing. I mean, this is truly becoming one of my most favorite mascaras. And what sets this apart is that it's not clumpy or goopy. Let me show you the bullet real quick. Looks like it's one of those bullets that poke me in the eye, but it's so worth it. <laughs> I mean, it does an amazing job at lengthening and just really showing that I have lashes. And and it takes a lot for mascaras to work on me. I mean, trust me, a lot of the mascaras that are loved by so many doesn't do a thing for me. Honestly, that's just the nature and shape of my eyes and the way 
the um, lashes grow on my eyes. You know, to some, it just automatically is volumizing, but for me, it's not. So I'm very, very picky with mascara, and this is a good one. And so if it works for me, guys, you're gonna love this. Next one is a fun one. Of course, I always have some kind of purse for you guys. This is my newest collection from Zara Juan. I think you guys have seen the, the camera bag. Um, and this time I have, this is the radio bag. <laughs> I love it. I think you've seen me wear this a couple of times in the winter time. It's such a statement piece, you know, and it has that kind of leather handle right there. And then you also have a cross body um, strap. This is what I would bring to Vegas, you know, like this is gonna turn heads for sure because it's so different. Like it can go casual or like a night out. Let me just show you real quick. I always get compliments when I wear my Zara Juan bag because the artistry behind the bags and how well made they are. They're not just like cheaply made that looks like a camera. They're really well, well made. So um, see there's a lining. Oops, what's in there? <laughs> Okay, it's decent. <laughs> I've got a hand lotion. I've got a hand sanitizer in there. I think the perfume too. Ooh, I miss this perfume. This is another favorite of mine. It's got pockets in here. It's just one big compartment, but I do put my credit cards here in the back, right there. So yeah, if you guys can pull off this style, which you know what? I've taken this to church before. Yes, it's kind of totally different, but at the same time, it's not like in your face. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's just me. Maybe that's just how I see it. Next item, guys, is oh, the Too Faced Better Than Better Than Chocolate, not Better Than Sex because that's their mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. Oh my gosh, finally Too Faced has one of these tin can um, eyeshadow palettes again. I have the original one, the chocolate palette, the chocolate bar palette. This one though is supposed to be better than chocolate. It smells like chocolate. This was sent to me by Ipsy um, as a welcome gift for being a part of their incubator program where they send us their glam bags for free as a gift on a monthly basis. And so thank you, thank you so much again, Ipsy, for sending this to me. But when this palette arrived, two of the shades were broken. So it's this shade and this shade, and they were the shimmer shades and they were beautiful. I honestly did not want to let them go because they were so pigmented, so beautiful on the skin, like on the eyes, but yeah, they just, they were getting everywhere on my makeup table, so I had to, but yeah, this one is basically the chocolate bar palette, but with more fun pops of color, if not like slightly deeper, so it's still a neutral palette in my opinion, but it's just a step up if that makes sense. I'll swatch it here. This is the green one. Oh, the purple one. And this is the bright shimmery purple one. I think it has a pink shift to it. Let's try the gold. Like everything is just super pigmented. This one has all shades of brown that you will ever need. So, oh, and you know what brings me back when I first, first got into makeup? My first palette was the chocolate bar palette and I'll never forget that every time I use it, it gave this strong scent of chocolate. And this one, like whenever I use it, it just brings me back. I've been using this for a while now and every color just works and it hasn't disappointed me. Last favorite of mine is by Nectar. So there's a Nectar store that opened up and I got one of their drinks. They're like known for their acai bowls. They have very fresh smoothies, healthy smoothies, um, protein smoothies, like they have everything. I took a screenshot of their different juices because honestly it's something that I can make at home and I do 
love making them at home but more specifically the acai bowls i can't wait to make them at home this one is the pink flamingo it has like dragon fruit it has strawberries it has like all the superfoods i would compare this with starbucks pinkity drink or pinky drink pink drink something like that um, because it also has that dragon fruit, but this one doesn't have coconut milk. I'll list the ingredients over here just to be specific. This is so good. It's not super sweet. Probably a tad bit healthier than the one from Starbucks. Wow, my new favorite drink right here. So that is it guys. Those are all of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. I just want to thank Jessica Myros for hosting this collab. Also be on the lookout guys for the month of May, June, and July. I will be helping Jessica out with hosting this collaboration. So if you are a fellow YouTuber, I would love for you to join this collaboration. It's a monthly favorites with anything and everything. It doesn't have to be centered um, on makeup or beauty. Like it could be anything, lifestyle. As you can see, I have all sorts of things here. Also, don't forget to check the playlist in the description box below so you can watch all the other favorites videos from the girls that are participating in this collaboration. So with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.